Welcome to Travel Time this week, and my name is Cheryl, and our guest today is Jean Clark. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Jean. Thanks for coming on the show. I'm glad to be here. We are going to talk about the mode of transportation that you love the mm -hmm. most, and what is that? That is the Amtrak. You love and it, don't I you? I love the Amtrak. You always go out west. <laughs> I do, yes. So you go to Montana quite yes. a few times, yes. and you go to Washington State. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, why do you like Amtrak so much? Um, the re most reason I like it is it's so relaxing. You don't have to worry about being there in a hurry. You don't have to worry about driving. And if you have to get there in a hurry, flying's great, but the Amtrak is just so much fun. So many people you meet. Well, it's like a, um, a, like a restaurant yes. and, on, well, it's on wheels. I mean, it's just nice because you can go into yes. the restaurant you ever have lunch, breakfast, lunch, Correct. or dinner. Um, if you want to go into the area where they have the, uh, the sightseeing, mm -hmm. what do they call that? They call it the observation car. There, yes. thank you. Help and me. it's glass on all sides. You know, you can see forever, and you see the mountains especially. That's what especially I really like. Especially going through glaciers. Yes. That's beautiful. And now they do go through during the daytime, so it's really remarkable. In the yeah. spring and the summer, it's nice, because if you go in the winter, it's I know. pretty much dark. Yes. Pretty mm -hmm. much. Um, traveling on Amtrak, do you find that, like, the people, the people are very friendly, aren't they? Yes. They're very, I know that they will, like, what do they, I remember when it's time to serve the meals, um, do they come over into each cars and advise? They, okay, they, during the breakfast and the lunch, they just announce that it is time, and mm -hmm. you can go at any time. But for the main meal in the evening, then they do come and announce and see how who wants to go. And you have a certain time to go. They have three separate times that they have So it's like dinners. a reservation yes, time. Yes, yes. And the meals are very good, I have to say that. And I they're have reasonable. There. They are very reasonable. They have a wide cho uh, choice of food and... I really like it. And they also have a <laughs> yes. beverage area where they have mm -hmm. a bar so you can yes. get a beverage if you mm -hmm. like, a glass yes. of wine with your dinner. And if you don't want to eat in the dining car, you can go down to the little the snack bar downstairs and you can have sandwiches or pizza or something like that rather so than a full meal. It's very accommodating. Very accommodating. Now, I have never taken the sleeper car, which is something I still want to try. <laughs> what you should do is try the sleeper going out to Washington State. Yes. I wouldn't say going to Montana no, where you go, but Washington no. State. I think it would be fun, yeah. They we, say it's really nice to do that. And what we can do, too, is on the Amtrak, if you decide, well, let's say you want to leave from Detroit Lakes and you want to make a few stops, mm -hmm. we can do a lot of stops, too, like, mm -hmm. say, in Montana, and then we can go further on. So you don't have to... Correct. Do one reservation. So that's what's nice about Amtrak. Yes, yes. And, well, I know that we did have a few incidents where the flood caused some, which yes. you were involved <laughs> I with. I was involved with that, yeah. But they actually refunded all your money, so yes, you didn't have any issues. Did. No, no issues whatsoever. So with Amtrak, yes. we've been... Yeah, it's been very nice. Very we're, happy with the company. Very happy with it all together, yes. We do see sometimes once in a while I'll come through Detroit Lakes a few hours late. But oh, yeah. <laughs> we've seen that. but And I've been late coming back, and my son has been waiting for me, of course. <laughs> well, we urge a lot of our clients to call about two hours before right. you leave so you know that if the train is on uh -huh. time so you don't have to wait. But I would say that Amtrak is the way to go. Mm -hmm. If you want to really do a leisure, yes. so you can read your book while you're traveling. Obviously, you have yes. driven that route. Oh, and yes, it is hard. I have. It's yeah. a hard drive. This last time I took my granddaughter with me, and she enjoyed it. It was fun for her. She, she, did. she did like it. Of course, being a, being a child, it got boring after a while. Well, <laughs> I told her, well, you know, you just have to make your fun. So we got out, I took her into the observation car, and we met people. And she got acquainted with a couple of kids. So then know. that's the best part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez. Well, thank you, Jean, for yes. being on Travel Time. Well, thank you for asking me. We'll get back and get you okay. on that sleeper I'll out of Washington. I'll probably be back again. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for tuning in to Travel Time this week. And we are located in the Washington Square Mall. And my name is Cheryl.